Oh my god, it's already day two. Hey guys, today's day two of Pokemon Go Fest. My legs are killing me. My legs are killing me, not gonna lie, because yesterday we walked for an entire 10 hours to play outside in a scorching hot sun and rain. So there's two things I want to mention for today. First thing is, yesterday I wasn't aware there was a lot of new shinies that, well, technically I did click all of them, but some of them I really didn't click because I didn't know it was a shiny. So today we're gonna correct that. So today we're gonna click every single Pokemon to see if we can get a new shiny or something, okay? And secondly, today's event is all about Team Rocket. So we're gonna fight Giovanni, we're gonna get Shadow Mewtwo. I think I'm not gonna push as hard as yesterday because yesterday I really played the entire 10 hours. Today maybe a few hours, uh, half and half. I don't know, we'll see how. Depends on how my legs are going to react. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna definitely get a Shadow Mewtwo and then... Okay, so right now it's 9.48. I'm not gonna play immediately at 10 o'clock because I'm actually getting a bit of rest. Yesterday I finished editing around like 2 a.m. so... Taking it a bit easier today then, uh, since it's just Team Rocket and then a couple of new shinies, maybe we'll get lucky. Alright guys, we are currently back here at Raffles Place. Honestly, I don't know where else to go, but this is one of the places that is more quiet. Okay, maybe not here, but it's like less people and stuff, so I, I don't really bump into a lot of you know, crowded areas. So we managed to find two shinies when I was on the right here. The two shinies that I did not manage to find yesterday, which is the Bulbasaur with the hat, and the Squirtle with the hat as well. It's not a hat, it's a visor, but we are still looking for that Charmander, and yeah, we just got both just like that. Uh, oh my god, I really don't know how that happened, but it just did, and check this out, we have both Squirtle and Bulbasaur just like that. And they all happened within 5 minutes of when the event just started, so that's kind of nice. Okay, so right now, uh, we're going to be looking for a lot of like shinies that we do not have, like obviously Heatmore, Durant, all those kind of stuff, but the main thing we're going to talk about is the Team Go Rocket uh, research. So here it is, so first chapter, uh, take a snapshot, power up Pokemon, send 3 gifts, you get Incense, Pokeball, and Stardust. Let's do that right now. Okay. Snapshot, we still get Rotom Wash. Yeah, we still get Rotom Wash. I was thinking that today maybe we'll get something different, but we didn't. Okay, chapter one down. Here we go, Incense, Pokeball, and Stardust. Basically, this episode has a lot of like, Team Go Rocket battles, so I'm not sure if I really want to show you guys. Oh look, we have a Machamp. I don't think I'm going to show you guys all the battles, obviously, just the important ones because, you know, Team Go Rocket battles, they are kind of boring after a while. The next chapter. Defeat two Team Go Rocket Grunts, rescue two Shadow Pokemon, and purify one Shadow Pokemon. So this is very, very simple. And we're going to do that right now since we have like so many Pokestops around with the Go Grunts, you know. Oh, that wasn't too difficult, right? Okay, we have an egg hatching right now. <coughs> uh, it's uh, okay. Uh, by the way, I think I just saw a, a gibbo nearby. Hopefully, we can get a shiny gibbo today. <laughs> that is the one thing we really do not have. And here it is, a gibbo. Give me the shiny. Okay, anyway, so uh, we are done with the second chapter already. Uh, I'm going to complete it after I catch this gibbo. It's a viper, not a shiny. Uh, claim this, claim this. And what's the reward for this guy? Okay, Weavile. Interesting. Interesting choice though. But then again, Weavile is a very, very Team Rocket kind of Pokemon. By the way, there's a lot of like Tangela spawning and I didn't realize yesterday that Tangela can be shiny. So that's why today we're going to try to see if we can get that green Udon, you know. Okay, what's next? Golem. Very Giovanni Pokemon. Okay, as you guys can tell, I'm wearing black because, you know, it's the Team Rocket kind of event. So you gotta wear black for that shiny luck too, you know. Oh, wow, two Gibbles. Guys, there's two Gibbles. Uh, anyway, as we're waiting for that Gibble, here's the next chapter. Basically, defeat the three leaders. All right, first one we on the list right now is Cliff, which we have right here. All right, I'm gonna put down my camera so that I can battle him properly. There's a little bit of wind here, so that's kind of nice. Uh, I don't know what Cliff has, so we're just gonna go in with this. I, I don't know. Okay, this is a bad choice. This is a very bad choice. I believe that the leaders here, they have like the legendary birds as their final Pokemon. That's why I heard off. Alright, Pinsir was simple. What's the next one? Tyranitar. Tyranitar is down. Let's see the last one. Articuno. Okay. That kind of makes sense. Okay, one down. Two to go. It could be a shiny Pinsir, I'm just saying.
Okay, moving on to Arlo this time. Let's see what he has. Honestly, they kind of made Team Go Rocket a little bit easier for us this time. Even so, I'm not using the right counters. And we have Moltres for Arlo. Basically, once we defeat Giovanni, we can take our time to like do some shiny, ch uh, shiny checks. Basically, you don't have a lot of time to do any shiny checks when you're battling, right? So yeah, let's get this Giovanni out of the way, then we can do a lot of shiny checks later on. Guys, check this out. We have a brand new shiny. This time is something that we do not have again. Okay, hold on. Let me cross the street first. Okay, check this out. We have a shiny Tangela. Shiny Tangela. Okay, so this is the shiny I was looking for, the green colored Udon. Beautiful, man. <laughs> so that means today we're 3 for 3 on shinies that we do not have and they're brand new, so that's kind of good. And we're still looking for Sierra, the last one, before we can fight Giovanni. But I'm just so happy that we are also getting shinies in between, so brilliant, brilliant. I just need another one so that I can evolve it. Any more shinies here? And just like that, it started to rain again. The previous clip was like, what, five minutes ago? I don't know what's going on, but here we go. We have we are going to be battling Sierra under the, you know, under the shade and stuff uh, while the rain disappears. Bell them down. What the hell? What the hell just happened? You guys saw what happened, right? What the heck was that? Okay, I'm trying to shelter myself from the rain by hiding under a tree and stuff, uh, but we have another shiny, shiny tangler again. <laughs> This time it's 1833, it's quite high CP, so we're not gonna mess around with this guy. I think it's great that uh, the shinies that I never got before are sl starting to appear, but it kind of sucks that because it's raining, I cannot really take out my camera properly. And by the way, I already defeated Sierra, so that now, right now, uh, hold on, let me let me show you guys this. Whoa, this is actually really good. <laughs> this is actually really good. Uh, Surviper, can you be shiny for me? Now we get to claim the reward from three of the leaders, right? So they're basically Moltres, Articuno, and Zapdos in their shadow forms. Okay, I'm gonna catch this on the side. And after that, we're gonna fight Giovanni, okay? Okay, we're gonna be. Oh, ooh. Okay, we're gonna be battling Giovanni in front of this. Nice view, right? Okay, before that, uh, I just want to show you guys something huh, really quickly. Just now, when I was catching the trio legendaries, right? Look what I found. Uh, basically, yeah, Zapdos, Moltres, and Articuno. They are the Articuno stats. I have a 98% Shadow Articuno. That was that was something. That was definitely something. Uh, the others are not so bad as well, but 98%. I'll take it. So Giovanni is gonna have Persian and Mewtwo, I think. Yeah, so okay, let's do this. We defeated Mewtwo with just Lucario. Oh, we're gonna first catch Persian, okay. Here we go. We're gonna claim our final reward from Giovanni. It's gonna be a Mewtwo. And look at that. Look at Shadow Mewtwo. I really like the electricity and like the purple color vibe from it. Very nice. 1767. We're going to try to see if we can catch it with a Pokeball because obviously you want a Mewtwo in a Pokeball. My hand's getting sore. What the heck? Oh my god, that took so long. 1767, please. Wow, this is good. This is really good. If you purify this, I mean, we're not gonna purify it obviously, but it can be a Hondo. We have a almost Hondo Shadow Mewtwo. This is brilliant. Okay, it has frustration, so obviously we're gonna TM that right now. Hello, Psychic. But then again, maybe we can use Elite TM to get the side strike for this. But this guy is beautiful, man. So we're actually not done yet after we caught the Mewtwo. We have one more uh, reward to get, and I believe this is Victini, the mythical Pokemon. So here we go. Victini. I think that's how you pronounce it. Since this is a mythical Pokemon, most likely like Celebi and Mew, uh, you're required to throw three balls before you can actually catch it. Each ball will shake once, twice, and then the third one will catch it. Final ball to catch Victini. I'm actually very hungry right now, so let's get this over with so that we can go get some lunch, yeah? Okay, cool. We got our Victini. Very nice. Look at that. Pokedex Victini. We did it, guys. Wow, this is really good. This is like 91%. 
Okay. I would say that our legendary catches today has been quite good in terms of uh, IVs, yeah. So, for the rest of the day, we're just looking for more shinies. Hopefully, we can get them. Alright, thank you. Alright, claim, claim, claim reward. We get some incense, get some Victini candy and Ultra Balls. Okay, so what's next? Take a snapshot of Victini, catch 20 different species of Pokemon, Sentry, gift to friends, and you get a shirt, some raid passes, and a star piece. So, I'm not going to show this to you guys, but yeah, it's kind of nice. Yep. I'm back home. So basically what happened was that I was actually quite tired after the Mewtwo catch and I realized it's because yesterday I really went all out for you guys and for the first day of Komi uh, for the first day of Pokemon Go Fest. So I I feel like my body couldn't take it anymore and I was gonna get sick soon so I decided to come home anyway. But back home I used an incense and I actually found a new Pokemon. A new shiny sorry. And here it is. A shiny quillfish. Pink color in its natural form, I guess. <laughs> So along the way back home, I actually found two more shinies. Uh, these are duplicates shinies. So one is a shiny Magikarp, one is a shiny Sable Eye. That's the two shiny that I caught on the way home just now. I guess for the rest of the day, I'm just going to be at home, you know, putting an incense on, trying to see if I, I can get as many shinies as possible. Main thing is I just want to rest today because I feel like <laughs> I got to take care of myself, you know. Guys, we found our shiny. Look at this. Look at this. Shiny Marowak. We did it! We found the shiny! I was taking a nap. That's why I, I look so weird right now and sound so weird. But my god, I can't believe it. It's 6.20 right now. It's about a few, like an hour and 40 minutes before the end of the event. Oh my god. I cannot believe it. We finally found our shiny Marowa. The one we've been looking for since yesterday. The one shiny. Like I said, that I was looking for the hardest. What, what's going on? Oh, yay! <laughs> shiny Marawa. Anyway, if I see any more shiny, I'll let you guys know. I can go back to sleep now. I guess that's it. That's the end of Pokemon Go Fest 2020. But not before I managed to get this shiny before the end of the event. I think I was just going out to get dinner and then, yeah, we got a shiny Alolan Grimer. It's one of the shinies that I do not have yet. Anyway, so final thoughts on the shinies. Uh, let's take a look at our final count. Uh, hold on. Let's see. For today, we managed to get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7. Oh, wait, 8 and 9. 9 shinies, guys. 9. Started with the Bubblesaw and Squirtle with the Pikachu Visor and 2 Tangela, Magic Cup, Sable Eye, Quillfish, Marowak, and Grimer. Wow. So 9 plus 15. That's 24 shinies for a span of two days and I think that's a really really good number. Honestly how I felt about this Pokemon Go Fest was that it was okay, it was not bad. The second day event today honestly was a little bit slow. I think that's mainly because I was quite tired so I cannot be very enthusiastic into the whole entire oh my god I must hunt them all like every single hour. But to get 9 even though I didn't really try really hard, that's still something you know. I felt like some people were a little bit upset about this Pokemon Go Fest. Uh, I can understand if you cannot get enough shinies or you did not get enough shinies that you wanted. The thing is shiny hunting has always been a chance game so sometimes you win sometimes you lose and you can't get them all all the time. Like for me there's like so many other shinies that I did not get that I wish to get but at the end of the day this is all I can get you know so I'm, I'm quite happy about it. Anyway let me know what you guys think of this Pokemon Go Fest uh, for this year. So everything let me know in the comment section and I will catch up with you guys in the next episode whenever it will be. Okay take care everyone. 